Max Fifth Standard Term Three Numbers. So good evening, children. Today in Max we are going to learn the second chapter, Numbers. So in Numbers we are going to learn estimation. So what is estimation? So estimation is nothing but which is the value that is nearest to the correct value the value the value which is nearest to the correct value is called estimated value called estimated value the symbol for estimate is so you have to put a dash here and the term like this so this is the symbol for estimate is it clear so estimation is nothing but it is not the correct value we are uh, writing the value approximately which is nearest to the correct value so if you take a handful of groundnut if you take a handful of groundnut can you count and say or you can just say approximately i have uh, 20 groundnuts in my hand so that is nearest to the correct value instead of counting we are saying it approximately so thorayama solradha estimation so other words for estimation so what are the other words for estimation is about about approximate approximate or nearby now we are going to estimate 27 to its nearest tens place exercise 2.1 so 27 to its nearest tens place so we are going to take 27 so how to estimate it so 27 so we have to uh, see the number the range of the number so 27 is between so tens tens place where it is it is between 20 to 30 so 27 is between 20 to 30 this is 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and this is 30 so you can see now where is 27 so which one is near so 30 is near or 20 is near for 27 so 30 is just jumping to 3 units you can go for 30 but for if you if you go for 20 he has to go backward 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so he have to go backward uh, for 7 steps but here in 3 steps he can go for 30 so the approximate value of 27 is 30 <coughs> the estimated value of 27 is 30 or you can remember like this so 1 2 3 4 the, if this number comes you have to go backward if 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you have to go forward. So if this, if the number ends with 1, 2, 3, 4, you have to go backward. If it is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you have to go forward. So let us take a number 64 and find the estimated value. 
also we have to see the unit place what is the number in units place it is 4 so for 4 what is the rule we have to go backwards so what is the range of the number 60 to 70 the number ranges between 60 to 70 64 comes between 60 to 70 so if it is 4 we have to go backward so the number you have to take is approximate value of 64 is 60 is it clear children so now we are going to estimate the following to its nearest tens place estimate the following to its nearest tens place so we have to take the units place of each number and round off to the nearest tens. So if 7 to 6, what is the range of 7 to 6? It is from 70 to 80. So we are rounding it off to 80 because the number ends with 6. So we already know if it, the number ends with 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we have to go to the range higher, higher range. Next one is 93. So next one is 93. So for 93, this is between uh, 70 to 80. So 80. Next one is 90 to 100. So 90, 1, 2, 3, 4 here and 5, 6, 7. If the number ends with 5, 6, 7, it's here. So here we have 3. 3 means we have to take 90. So this is 90. Next, if it is 90, we have to uh, round it off to the nearest tens place. It, it is already in the tens place. So we are writing 90 as it is. Next one is 81. So if it is 1, the range, you should know the range of it. So it is from 80 to 90. The number lies between 80 to 90. So if it is 1, we have to mark it. Next. 99 where does 99 range from it ranges from 90 to 100 so if it is 9 we have to go forward and this is 100 this is how we have to estimate the following to its nearest in space thank you